this is going to be a very quick cage tour and an introduction to my raddies. Say hi girls! Here. This is Algy. She's named after Algernon from Flowers for Algernon. She is a Dumbo rat. Um, as you can tell by her big ears. <laughs> I don't have any more. This is Basil. <laughs> named after Basil from The Great Mouse Detective. She's also a Dumbo, but her ears are tulipped as opposed to Algie's round ears. Sorry, I don't remember what it's called. Um, or if there's a standardized term for Algie's ears. They are Dumbo's though, uh, because their ears are in line with their eyes, as opposed to high, as opposed to on top of their heads. So, <laughs> oh, okay. So this is a hut that I made out of popsicle sticks for the girls. You can find wooden huts online for about ten to fifteen dollars, but. Um, because they are made out of wood, they need to be replaced every other month or so. So I thought it would be more economical for me to uh, make it myself. <laughs> Inside the hut, there's leftover Christmas presents for the girls. I just uh, took chew toys and treats and I wrapped them in wrapping paper for the girls to open and play with for Christmas. There are some more chew toys in here. There's a yucca chip, an alphabet block. Sorry, it's kind of noisy. The girls are chewing away at their pasta. Here is a cardboard ring, a wooden chew stick, um, over here, this is a tubular, hi, a tubular tube. It's basically a cardboard tunnel made out of, um, basically a cardboard tunnel that my sister bought for her hamster Bucky, but it was a little bit too big but perfect size for my girls, so I got to keep it. Here's a knot nibbler. This is just a shelf that I made. It's actually an Iron Man puzzle that I got from the dollar store, but I didn't know what to do with it after I finished the puzzle, so I thought I would just make something for my girls. Here's a foraging toy. Their litter pan. My girls are litter trained. Let's see, is that? And I use yesterday's news cat litter inside. Here are some lava ledges that lead up to a triangular cube that I made for them. Well, it's not really a cube, it's a sort of a half cube. But the girls like it. Then over here we have another foraging toy. These are actually bird toys, I think, but they work for rats. I believe the two pieces in the middle are made out of bamboo. And over here I have another popsicle stick shelf that I made. Here is a triangular hut slash teepee slash hammock. Here's some chew toys, a yucca chip, a lava bite. Um, wooden shoes, alphabet block, cardboard ring, and this is supposed to be a cardboard dumbbell that my sister made for my girls. I don't think it's the most <laughs> sightly um, toy that they have, but uh, the girls like carrying it around, so. This over here is their 12 inch silent spinner. Water bottle. This is a bird foraging toy that I use to store their food. My girls are fed 
Oxbow's Regal Rat Adult Rat Food. And on their cage door, they have a chew toy that's made out of corn husk and uh, wood. And on the other side, they have their 16 ounce water bottle. So that's a rat cage. The cage itself is a single critter nation. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.